This episode of On The Line is brought to you courtesy the sports company of Trinidad and Tobago. On this episode, I'm on the line with Khalifa St. Fort under the watchful eye of four-time Olympic medalist Atto Bolo. Ready? Ready. Set. Go! In every sport, there's a line. All athletes put themselves on the line for club and country. I'm particularly excited about our trip today as I'm heading to meet rising star Khalifa St. Paul. At just 18 years old, she's already turned professional and turning heads. And I just got a message from national champion Kellyanne Batiste who said she's gonna pop by, so I'm excited about that as well. purple and Arto just said she was at 60% and that's just their warm-up so remind just a reminder out there this is just training Whew. What's it like having Khalifa as a daughter? It's been a very, very exciting experience. I mean, got to thank God for blessing us with a child like that. Very dedicated, um, very good daughter, never had any major issues. It's nothing but God that could have got her to this point, especially when she's on the, on, the, on the brink of quitting track. Now, I read that you were very instrumental in bringing her to Arthur Bolden. Yes, I mean, me and my daughter are very tied together. We're very close. I know that she wasn't happy, um, and I just knew that she could be doing a lot better than what she was doing at the time. Um, I think obviously the coach had other players on the team um, and other competitors on the team. I just felt she wasn't reaching her full potential after her freshman year. Her times was kind of going backwards instead of forward. So um, I just took a, a, a chance to talk to Mr. Boulder for like an hour and a half and said, look, you know, I don't know what our talent level is. I'm not saying that she's this, she's that. But if you have opportunities, can, can, can you take a look at it? Because I think that we're kind of limited a little bit to a lot of people who probably know track as well as he does because he's competed at a high level and stuff like that. So I say, hey, if you get an opportunity, can you take a, a, a look at it? And, and one day he gave me a call at the right time and he took a look at it and the rest is history. Thank God for that. I mean, she's still my little girl, no I mean, no matter what. I mean, at the same time, I do understand how things progress. I mean, she's a teenager, she's 18. Um, I do understand what my role is as a parent. I'm not one of those parents that are afraid to let go. I mean, she is a young lady, very responsible. Um, if she needs, obviously she still lives with us, but if she needs any advice, anything from us, we're here. But at the same time, we're not going to smother her and allow her to grow and, and, and live her life and see where it goes from there. As long as she stays healthy and she's happy, then we're, we're very grateful as parents. <laughs> If I beat you in the race itself, just, just this is okay. My legs are longer than yours. My stride is longer than yours. I'm gonna get up right probably faster. Mm. Don't be disheartened by it all. Okay. All right. 
there's always tomorrow. You just need to train harder. That's what it's about. Just hard. Just train harder and harder and harder. Whatever, foot you want down and hand you on down. So is it important the way the hands are? I Not really. No? It's actually up to people. It's like um, Barbara Priya actually has a certain measurement she does with her hand, but to me, kind of just anywhere. Just as long as you remain behind the line. As long as you're behind the line. So all this sort of motion I see them, it's just a sight. Up. Basically, that's just some like some people have their thing they do before races, right. and that's just some. What, what one of the things you have? Um, I usually do a bounce stretch to the block, so like I usually stand up, stretch, stretch my toes, and then get back to my box. Alright, well I want to do that because I want to make it up from the start. Alright. All right, so what are we doing? Here. Here. And then down. So, here. So, that's when you start. Start from the right. Okay. And then one. Yeah. I, I didn't look as graceful as you did. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. As high as you can get. Oh, as high as you can get. Yes. Are you, are you trying to remain as horizontal as possible? Yeah, so you're trying to stay down. You're trying to stay this way. Or diagonal rather. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks cool though. Because one thing I make it look cool. Yeah. So Arthur says take it easy. Alright? Really? Well, okay, so you don't study her. <laughs> Set and go to command you and again. Yeah. Alright? So on your marks first. Set. Go. out onto the scene, you know, you become a household name. Take me through that. Well, I made my first appearance at the Junior Champs last year. I'm trying to I was trying to qualify for the World Youth in Cali, Colombia. Yeah. Um, I went out there and I ran 11.8, I believe. And it wasn't actually my best race, but it was my first introduction onto the Trini scene. I consider myself a Trini American. <laughs> I'm half Trini, half American, but most of my family that I spend time with here are Trini. I'm proud to have the opportunity to come out here and represent Trinidad and Tobago every time I step on the track and to represent them well. Arto, put it, putting it lightly or mildly, very tough on you. How do you guys get along? We get along very well. I mean, he has to be tough as a coach because there's things that he has to put me through that friends can put you through. The pain that has, I have to go through in order to run well, he has to be hard on me. But he's hard on me because he knows I can do it and because it will push me to be in a better place. What, what would you say some of the most important lessons you've learned um, okay, don't from Arthur Bull in this world? Definitely perseverance, and with hard work, you can reach anywhere you want to and anywhere you need to. I've definitely learned that you, can, you may not you have it now, there? but you can definitely achieve it later. Arthur has a, a lot of confidence within himself. And I'm seeing that in yourself, and you actually see yourself there, and you see yourself getting the rewards that come with being at the top of your game. Anything in particular you're looking forward to? Well, I'm most looking forward to having the platform to inspire young girls and boys my age to achieve their dreams, because that's what I've always wanted to do. Because in order for you to actually be able to have a voice, you first have to have a platform, and this yeah. is my platform, or a way for me to give back. So what would you say are some of the things that you'd want public of Trinidad and Tobago to know about you looking on at this, the younger generation, not just athletes, but just young ladies in, in, in general. That it's important that you respect yourself, important that you always believe in yourself and don't let anyone take your confidence away from you. My school and I don't have a very good relationship. They don't speak of me. No one really knows my accomplishments unless they ask me. I was training very hard at my school, which is St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, under Coach Alex Armenteros. And after a while, I started to, I, not, I wasn't getting any better. I was actually, I was regressing terribly. By the end of my freshman year, I was struggling just to run 12s. I was almost dipping into almost the 13s. And to be told, you know, as an athlete by your coach that it's not the program, it's you. 
and no matter how hard you train, you won't get there. You know, it was like I'm kind of wasting my time. My first year on the team, I was actually bullied by one of the older girls there. I was an upcoming freshman, pretty close to her times, and she tried to intimidate me. She bullied me for about a good two years. Um, I went to the coach about it, but she was the coach's favorite, so it, nothing really registered. The girls on the team kind of sided with the other girl, of course, because those were her friends. So freshman year was a little difficult for me because the coach always said, you know, Khalifa, you're not going to get anywhere because you're too nice. You're always happy all the time and sometimes it's required to be so. But that was just naturally how I am as a person. And to be told because I'm naturally happy or naturally nice that I wouldn't get anywhere was kind of, you know, it was kind of disheartening to hear that from a coach, let alone an adult. Um, overall, it was just... It just made me dislike my sports because I was no longer having fun. When practice started to become a chore, when I realized when I had to after school, I'm like, I have practice again. I have to be with people I know who are not for me. It just makes you not enjoy your sports anymore. It makes you feel like I'm doing this for what? I didn't see, I'm not, in, I'm not happy, I'm not enjoying it, I'm stressed. And I didn't see the point of me really continuing if I'm going to be this unhappy because I wouldn't want to do this in college. I can't go to college running 12-3. So I felt like I was almost just wasting my time and wasting everybody else's time. When I'm on the track, I'm able to not really think of anything but other than something I love, which is running. So when I'm out here, I get to focus solely on what I want to do, which is focus on getting faster, whether it's 300s to 400s to 60s. People think because I've turned professional, everything has changed. I've been under a pro system for a while. All that changes my title. I'm doing the same workouts. But now it's just I'm training harder than usual just because I know that with that title, I'm expected to do great things. And what are some of the goals you're setting for yourself personally? Not Arto, not your dad. What are some of the things you're setting for yourself? Not just for real. Where does Khalifa see herself? Well, by the end of this season, my goal is to run 1072. And I don't care how hard I have to work to get there. And if I'm a little shy of it, 10-8, 10-9, I'll still be happy, but my goal is 1072 this year by Rio. This is my life. This is, we have great conversation out here. We joke, we laugh. When I'm out, I, I just... Joke with you. Yes, we all have jokes <laughs> and it's real kicks, especially when Richard comes and Monique and Reese and everyone's out here having a great time. It's, it's a lime out here for us. What's your relationship like between yourself and Kellyanne and even having the opportunity to train with her? Kellyanne's almost like a bigger sister to me. She has definitely told me a lot of her experiences, especially when it comes to Olympics, and she told me, enjoy your first Olympics. Do not let the stress of it get to you. I mean, I'm 18. Not many 18-year-olds go to the Olympics or even have the opportunity to go. I'm just happy to go out there, compete against the best athletes in the world, and see where God takes me. very, very capable of running much faster. Remember that he is still very, very young. Of all the guys I'm about to talk about, he is one of the youngest. Where do you find the time? I mean, clearly, over the past three or four days here being with Khalifa, you are actively involved in her life. You've flown back to Trinidad. You're doing your NBC thing. Even when you told me you're going to be juxtaposing mm -hmm. in between um, your job as a coach in Rio, plus in the commentary box. How, how do you manage it all? Um, I manage it by making sure that on every day, whatever I am into, I am passionate about. Because that's the only way to make that clock keep going and not notice it. So you've been, you've traveled the world, you've been there, done that. You've seen the best facilities. How does Trinidad and Tobago match up? And 
if, if they don't match up, what do you think is the fundamental issue or issues? Administratively, um, yeah, we have some challenges, but I think we've come a long way. The, the way our club system is still run, when you look at what other islands, and let's not say Jamaica because we know Jamaica is the gold standard. Let's go to Bahamas. When you look at what Bahamas has done with their high school system and with their club system, they have continued to get better. How is it that we went from second behind Jamaica to third behind Bahamas and Jamaica to fourth behind Barbados, Bahamas and Jamaica? And nobody's saying anything. Every time we come back from Corifta Games, oh, we did very well. We are not doing well. Well, guess what? This year, we slipped to the lowest I think we've, we've, we've been in 20 years. And part of the problem is, and that's, this is a national thing, call a spade a spade because part of rectifying a problem is identifying that there is a problem in the first place. We still feel that somehow the day is going to come where we're going to win the World Cup. I love football as much as anybody else. It is not going to happen. The country, the, the, the sport that our country has done the best in is track and field. That's not up for debate. That's a fact. But the resources that get pushed towards other sports versus us. That doesn't happen in Jamaica. When, when, did, you, when did you notice Khalifa? I know a dad came to you. But when did you notice that, you know what? I'm, I want to put it behind, all behind this young lady. And she became your Batman. I really felt like her situation and her high school and where she had come from and being, she was the definition. She's Cinderella, you know. Because she was the ugly step stepsister <laughs> who nobody wanted, nobody wanted to do anything with Khalifa, right? Because she had these other people on this team who were better than her. He'll go in the corner and wash some wares or clean, clean the house. That's where she came from. And the day that her ex-coach said to her that she wasn't any good and it didn't matter whether she were good at or bold on Maurice Green, she just wasn't that good, something I don't want to say it snapped, but it did. Because the rage that I felt that day, and I thought this big hardback man is going to look at a 16-year-old girl and tell her she's not good enough? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. And I decided that day, I said, listen, you and me, we are going to prove not just him, but everybody on that team, everybody in this region, wrong. I am going to show you how great you can be. When you have that combination of bad mind, Passion and expertise is why Khalifa is where she is today. Do you think you're hard on her? She would probably say no. But I push her right to the limit. We dance on the lip of that volcano. <laughs> um, I, I can be very, very hard. But with me, I believe in carrot and stick. And if you look at her Facebook or her Instagram or her Snapchat, you would think, well, it's all carrot, right? She drives in Tesla. She getting clothes from Romani Malco. She lives the life. What they don't see is when I am getting in her face in the back in Karifta, right? After that first round, I say, Khalifa, these people are here to see you. You are the one who you're making big splash, but you're going pro. People have bought their ticket to come and see you. Khalifa has the credentials and the capability where she's the queen bee. Now, of course, under you, we have Kelly, who was here briefly, Richard, who is at the top of his game, still the top sprinter, still national champion, mm -hmm. and now the rising star Khalifa. Does that, does, does that give you sort of a, a bigger spread in a, in a, I mean, I'm going to use the word, ego? Um, I have more grey hair this year because of it. Um, but that is not a bad pressure. My entire life has been proving people wrong, proving to people that I do know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm doing. Um, you have to realize that the first time I ran in the Olympics, there was a headline that says, bold and flatters to deceive. And I have never forgotten that. Because that headline said to me, he is not who he thinks he is, and he is not who we thought he was. My whole career is based on that. My whole life is based on that. Because I had to, sh I have always had to, I mean, look at this thing, look at, look at this thing with Khalifa. In essence, Khalifa is me saying to everybody who, I guess, sees me on NBC and sees where I am in the track and field community, who goes, yeah, he could talk it, but he can't do it. Khalifa is my, I can do it. I've done it. If she never, if she never runs another step, 
she is the eighth fastest under 18 girl to ever walk the face of the earth and that's with me working with her part-time when she was at her old high school so i it's not a bad thing to to have that chip on your shoulder as long as you don't let it get to a place of negativity and i don't it's always a khalifa let's go back to work because remember your haters have said that you don't deserve this pro contract so it's it's never from a negative place it's always from a place of let's continue to do what we do because remember that we have our goals and oh percentage of it is we had to prove it up Um, both white, or do you want brown rice? Um, um, whatever you are. Okay. Whatever I deserve after my work. Um, I don't eat beans, but I'm sure you want beans. You might want uh, beans. Yeah, these, these are... You're too trinian, you know? I'm not really trinian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get it on here, but they have it. Oh, you don't put pepper sauce in your food, huh? Well, not this kind of. Because, I mean, pepper sauce after you run. When you double and run, you put pepper Oh, yeah. Scorpion pepper. Slight. Yeah, you know, Slight pepper. pepper. Um, mild? I just don't like to be hungry at any point of the day. So right. I just try to... So it's not like you have to eat like eight times a day or anything? No, I just keep myself from starving, you know? Yeah. So what's with the Chobani, though? I notice you all eat one after every workout mm -hmm. and why, why that particular brand? It has the right amount of sugar and the right amount of protein that your body needs right after you work out. So after a hard workout, you have like a 10 minute window to put something back in your body. Mm. And that's just the easiest, it's easy to eat. It's small, it's not too much, but it's not too little. How do you get by with no doubles? <laughs> Wait till I go to the land. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing as soon as you land in Trinidad, doubles? Yes, if I'm not okay. in training. Like when I first came down for TTOC. Oh yes. I had about five of them. So when you come for when you come to for nationals? No, I will not have that done. Ato gives you a hard time, trains you hard and all the rest of it. Now let's let's turn let's turn it on its head now and see if he still got got it in the tank versus me. Yeah. Yeah? So well, I've lost one step, maybe two, since I ran. How many has he lost? Ooh. Yeah. So we're gonna see <laughs> how much, how much we can do here. So what? Just, just give me. Um, we're just gonna do six. Or just uh, which line? Which, you, you. So, oh, sorry. Go to the first line now. So you pick the line. I'm alone. You pick the line. Go to the first line. So I don't. But the, 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 the issue is I don't. Want, with, with all the people that we have around, I don't want to. You're like, shooting this way. Yeah, but I don't want to take you down in your own backyard. Nah, don't so, worry, they will, they'll avert their eyes. So, right, so what I'll do is I'll take it easy on them the first step. Okay, the yes. first step. thank you, yeah? thank you. Okay, what's up? I need to stretch. I need to stretch. You do what you need to do, This is what's Today, boy? Yeah. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> it's man, but are you going gonna to do stuff? Mm -hmm. Go! I just want to say thank you for being, thank you for being a good sport. Thank you. Thank you for being on the line, putting it all on the line. You know I did take it easy on you. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you very much. Cause you know my my knees been bothering me. Okay. Yeah, I've got a I've got a tear. The legs been doing a lot of stairs. There's been a lot happening today. The fact you could be in such a great sport and putting it all on the line. Take up, take up, take up, take up. <laughs>